Hi, I'm Mike McNamara, and welcome to the McNamara Report on the Nikon D600 HDSLR. This 24.3 megapixel camera is currently the lowest priced full frame HDSLR that can shoot both high quality still images and full HD 1080p video. It shares many features with the more expensive 36 megapixel D800 introduced earlier this year, including the bright 3.2 inch LCD monitor on the back and several control buttons, such as the dual live view button that lets you switch between a live view of still imaging formats and video formats. For pros demanding the ultimate resolution, there's still reasons to opt for the D800, but for most, the D600 appears to be a better value. And it also has a few improved features, such as the easier to reach movie button and the stereo audio meters visible on the left side of the LCD monitor. You all know me. Steve shoots, Steve has been back into this video, and I'm still, I still love shooting stills. It also allows for simultaneous output of video from the monitor and HDMI cable out, with an option for uncompressed video through the HDMI cable to an external recorder. Underneath the hood, the D600 features a tough magnesium alloy casing and weather sealing on par with the D800. It also features a bright pentaprism glass viewfinder that provides superior detail, color accuracy, ambient white balance, and burst response compared to even the best electronic viewfinders. Through that viewfinder, you can see the advanced 39-point AF system at work, which is similar to the one found in the D300S, as well as keep track of important exposure details. And compared to similar resolution APS-C SLRs, the image appears much larger, without a tunnel vision effect. The viewfinder covers nearly 100% of the image captured by the new 24.3 megapixel CMOS sensor, shown here in its mount and held by hand. Like other Nikons, the sensor can capture in full FX format or crop DX format depending on the lens in use, but it's still able to capture full HD video in either format mode. There are lots of other pro-level features, including the shutter unit with 150,000 shot estimated lifespan, and the brains of the camera found in the XP3 processor, which now provides real-time noise reduction for video, extended ISOs from 50 to 25,600, and the ability to process still photo bursts at up to 5.5 frames per second. Two high-speed SD card slots are included, allowing you to save different sizes and formats to different cards, or you can use the optional WU-1B Wi-Fi adapter to send images directly to Android smartphones and Apple iOS devices running a free downloadable Nikon app. In addition to a choice of over 60 Nikkor lenses, serious shooters will most likely opt for the MB-D14 battery grip, which gives vertical shooting control and the ability to use AA batteries, in addition to the EN-EL15 rechargeable battery. And while the D600 includes a fairly powerful pop-up flash, that flash will probably be used by pros in commander mode to wirelessly control external flash units such as the SB910. And last but not least, video shooters will likely opt for a better mic, such as the directional Nikon ME-1 or a third-party model that plugs into a stereo input jack.